got a shadow. And welcome to this episode of Anime Prescriptions. Now last week, I sort of gave you a bunch of psychological mess in your face, an entire series. This week I decided, you know, let's let's calm it down a little. We don't, we don't need to go psychotic. So, I'm bringing you a fantastical... I don't know where I was going with that. A comedy! <laughs> Don't know where that M came from. We're gonna be looking at... Jeez, my dogs are coming to attack me. We're gonna be looking at a comedy now. So, the comedy's name is The Devil is a Part-Timer. You can tell just from the title that it's going to be hilarious. Uh, in Japanese, this would be Hataraku Mausama. Yes! Very excited. Now, just a heads up, this series does sort of just abruptly end, so if you want the full story, maybe check out the manga. Um, I personally didn't read the manga, but that's just me. <laughs> Depends on if you want to see more of it, or if you're like, ah, that was funny. Moving on, next anime. Yeah, so... Just so you know, for future reference, this anime has 13 episodes, and look guys, look! Look at this! Look! It's only PG-13! Yay! <laughs> that means you can watch it. Yeah! If you're over 13, you can watch it without parental consent. Go you! Way to be an old person. Don't worry, I'm old too. <laughs> Now, the main character of this series is obviously the devil. His name is King Sadao. Sadao. Something like that. Sadao. <laughs> and his rival's name is Amelia. She's basically the knight who keeps trying to destroy the evil devil king. Now, what ends up happening is the devil, his, like, servant guy, along with Amelia and friends, get transported from their world. Dang it. You done yet? <sighs> I'll be back. Man, I'll tell ya, don't come to my house. The dogs will kill ya. Now then, <laughs> moving on from that. Okay, so I was talking about, yes, <laughs> the king, his servant, Amelia, Amelia, and friends get transported from their world to our world, specifically Japan. And because it's an anime, specifically non-copyright Japan. <laughs> what I mean by that is the devil ends up getting a job at McDonald's. Yeah, no, 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 not McDonald's. You might have misheard. Uh, McDonald's with a G. Then there's also this rival place that's supposed to be KFC, but it's not KFC because, you know, copyright infringement and whatnot. <sighs> yes. There's so much that happens in this anime. Can I just say that the devil, when he goes into satanic mode, is super bad A. Like, really, like, just how, oh right, you're that guy, he's just, he's cool. He's really cool. I mean, he, eh. this devil, <laughs> don't, don't take it on a religious factor, okay? No, no, I'm just saying, this devil, this guy, he's cool. He's great. He's awesome. You're gonna love him. Especially since when he's in his humanistic form, he's just adorable. He's just so cute. He's trying to be the very best, the absolute best, um, McDonald's employee that he can. Yes, he wants to be the best. But of course, you know, then Amelia finds him. She's like, oh, shiz. You're living here? Heck no, that ain't gonna happen. I'm gonna kill y'all, cause we are enemies and you should die. 
It's great. There's so many amazing characters. Lucifer, I think, is one of them. He is this... He's basically like a punk teenager. He starts off as a bad guy, but then the devil beats him and he becomes... He goes onto the devil's side, which you may think is the bad side. Not in this anime. Nope. <laughs> in this one, the devil's a good guy. Or, you know, he starts off as the devil, but then as he goes and he's living in Japan with his servant, he sort of becomes into this awesome good guy. And every time he turns into his satanic mode, he he does it for a good reason. The first was to defeat Lucifer. The second was to defeat the, the angel guy that's actually evil and very creepy. He's kind of a pervert, not gonna lie. <laughs> um, Let's see. Oh, there's another character. I don't remember what her name is, but she's adorable. She's a teenage girl who's basically in love with the devil. Yeah. It's kind of sad, actually. But, um, so she's in love with the devil. And there's also kind of a hint that Amelia and the devil are sort of like building a relationship, but like I said, the anime kind of abruptly ends, so you never get to see who ends up with the devil, which, as it goes, you're kind of wondering, is there going to be a relationship in this anime? Or what? No, the entire foundation of this anime is comedic action. So, yeah, I even wrote down the genres that it appeals to. If you like comedy, hey! Check it out. There are demons in it. Mm, yeah. It's fantasy, obviously. It's not a it's not a real thing. That would be very creepy. Uh that would mean that we'd been saying McDonald's wrong our entire lives. It was supposed to be McDonald's, guys. We had it all wrong. <laughs> it's also a romance. Okay, see 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 that part messes with you. It classifies it as a romance. But there's never like a canon, canon, um, couple. There's never a canon couple. It's just like, ooh, who's he gonna be with? Is he gonna be with this cute teenage girl? Or is he gonna be with his arch nemesis, the hero, Amelia? Oh, you'll never know unless you read the manga. Blah. And it's also a shonen, which is basically the action part that I was talking about. <laughs> so that is the anime that I am prescribing to you for this week. If you watch it, which you should, I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. It's really hilarious. Even for a short little 13 episode thing, it's well worth the watch. Okay, I'll see you next time. Janet! But pretty much all anime is my favorite. So...